What's up my VR bears? Welcome to today's video. I know I'm a bit late to the trend, but I'm going to talk about what I think about the version 28 update that's scheduled to come out to the Quest as well as technically to the Oculus Rift software. I am super excited for this update. I think amazing things are coming and it's absolutely huge. I'm sure you've already heard a lot about them, but if you want to hear my opinion, stay tuned. And with that being said, let's hop right into the video. For starters, we have heard that 120 Hertz is officially coming to the Quest 2 and will be supported in every single game. This is amazing. We knew that when we got our Quest 2, we would have 75 Hertz, but we knew for a fact they were going to get us to 90 eventually through software updates and as soon as we hit, what was it, version 3, we were able to get 90 Hertz. Now on version 28, we have finally unlocked 120 Hertz. For those of you who don't know, 120 Hertz basically just means you can get up to 120 frames per second with the actual lenses themselves. The headset might be able to run at 120 frames per second, but unless the lenses, like the screens, update at 120 frames per second you're not actually seeing 120 frames per second so that's what Hertz means Hertz is the frames per second that the monitor itself can actually display so that means with 120 Hertz you'll get significantly less motion sick the quality of game will look significantly better as you'll be able to see more frames of things actually moving so motion and movement will look more smooth and flow better this is honestly just an amazing feature to get on the Quest 2 as it has been foreshadowed to come out as we have heard things that have said that 120 hertz is possible with the quest 2 hardware except for the fact that it would drain too much battery and could cause heating and performance issues it seems that oculus has worked those kinks out and we are now able to get that 120 hertz which is going to be absolutely fantastic and amazing the next thing oculus talks about is the fact that we are getting air link and that is that's awesome air link is everything and anything anyone has wanted for the past, well, since the Quest came out. The Quest is a standalone headset and there are some amazing standalone games and playing standalone VR is absolutely amazing, but because it's a phone, you get severely limited with some of the games you can play. PC VR has been a main use of my Quest as I find myself playing a lot of Beat Saber VR as well as a lot of Half-Life Alex. That has been my biggest VR suckups, and because those both require a PC, I've been forced to use Oculus Link or Virtual Desktop. Virtual Desktop is good but does have its kinks. Hopefully having something straight from Oculus can be significantly better. Opening up the Quest doors to PC VR in a virtual wireless experience is going to be absolutely amazing and will just show how expansive the VR Quest industry can get with just a little bit of work. With that being said, you're still going to need a PC with a good GPU and you are also going to need good Wi-Fi because it is still going to be running over Wi-Fi, which means if you have pretty crappy Wi-Fi, you're going to have a very, very difficult time being able to connect and use the wireless air link. From the looks of it, it looks like that Oculus is going to release it first underneath the experimental features, meaning you'll be able to use it if you go into that experimental features tab and switch it on. But apart from that, it still looks like it's in development meaning I do expect to see lots and lots of bugs. But with that being said, this is a step in the right direction. It's definitely a good step for Oculus and the Quest VR as a whole. Along with that, we have some Infinity Office updates. I'm not too interested in this because I actually like working in real life. I like being in front of my keyboard and with my mouse. I don't really need more than two monitors. And if I really did, I could always set up a third one. It would be a bit difficult, but I could always do it. So something like the Infinity Office just isn't at the level it needs to be for me, especially with the actual quality of the Quest. I find it really difficult to read and spend a lot of time in my Quest, which could make it a bit difficult to work in an Infinite Office. With that being said, there are some Infinite Office updates, like bringing your desk into VR. In the new update, you'll also have the ability to pair your physical keyboard with your Quest 2 if your keyboard is wireless and Wi-Fi compatible. But apart from that, that seems to be about it. So not too much in the Infinite Office space, but definitely some updates for you people who love to work in VR. As we stated at the beginning of the video, 120 hertz support is coming to the Quest. We're a bit further down the article, so we have a bit more information. The whole first paragraph just talks about how the Quest is natively running at 90 hertz at the current update, but is planned to release for 120 hertz to get that ultra smooth gameplay experience. 
The whole second paragraph is also a bit vague and just talks about the fact that they're going to start releasing 120 hertz display on the Oculus Quest 2 for developers to use and start adding to their games natively. At the current date, there is no games that are capable of running 120 hertz. However, it is going to be used for some Oculus apps, basically just the home screen. And I think Oculus TV might have 120 hertz from the looks of this but it looks like most things are still gonna remain at 90 hertz until the 120 hertz can be made something that's super useful and super helpful and will keep good long battery life as well as keeping that headset cool. So reading through it, it definitely looks like we were clickbaited by the 120 hertz support on the Quest 2. From the looks of it, it looks like Nothing. <laughs> it looks like there is no 120 hertz actually going to be added to our quest currently. It's just saying 120 hertz is possible and tested, but they do not plan to add it to anything. They say they are releasing it to developers to add to their games, but odds are developers aren't going to do that either because they don't want to have to put up with the fact of bugs happening with 120 hertz and ghost frames as well as headset drains as well as just overheating in general. So from the looks of it, we're stuck at 90 hertz at least for the next couple months. It is good news that 120 hertz is possible and that Oculus is discussing it and handing it out to developers. That means there is a future with 120 hertz, but currently that does not look to be the case, and it does look like we're going to be stuck at 90 hertz for a while, which is very unfortunate, but it is what it is. You got clickbaited by this video, and I got clickbaited by the article, as well as every other video I've saw so far talking about this 120 hertz. With that being said though, I hope this update sheds a little bit of light as well as my opinions about what is coming and what is happening. If this video helped you out at all or you're excited for what's coming in the version 28 update, make sure you let me know by hitting that like button and leaving a comment down below. And if you want to see more videos by me, I do lots of modding tutorials as well as other tutorials to get the most out of your quest. Hit that like button, subscribe, ding that bell, that way you never miss a stream or a video. Thank you to my members, you guys are absolute mad lads. My little lettuces, my bear cubs, and my mama bears. Thank you so much for your support. It's absolutely amazing and helps me to expand the channel and do future projects and adventures. So once again, thank you for your support. It helps out the channel tremendously. With that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, everybody. Bye.